Welcome back to Red Business in Focus with thanks to Cork's local enterprise offices where we're meeting the personalities behind ambitious businesses. Now, Doctrine is a skincare brand that creates bespoke skincare formulas for home use, uh, for retailing online and for retail outlets domestically and internationally. Now, their vision is to turn skin into something that everyone can believe in. They believe in ingredients that function at an enhanced level, be they natural, plant, derived or biotech created. Mark O'Sullivan and Tracy Ryan, you're very welcome. Thanks so much for coming Thank in, you. Guys. Thanks for having, Thanks for having us. Um, we've got a 30 second opportunity. Now, I've given you kind of a bit of an indication here. I've already seen Tracy looking at Mark because obviously he's doing <laughs> yeah. so, uh, it. So it is you. It is. Mark, you have 30 seconds. Tell us what you're doing. So doctrine by its definition is the coming together of a group of people with a shared set of beliefs. And that's exactly what we are. Um, so we blend biotech natural ingredients with our cosmetic chemist here. Um, and we champion sustainability and transparency in an industry that tends to greenwash and scaremonger quite often. And we also really want to make the products um, look and feel um, amazing for our customers. So bring the ritual of skincare back in, in, into the, um, the routines that people have. Now, it may come as a terrible surprise to you that I have absolutely no knowledge about this space whatsoever, but I know it's big. And you have been involved in this before, Tracy, because you would have yeah. worked with a, a brand that people would have realised and known very well, Be A Beauty. That's right, yeah. I set my own brand up, Be A Beauty, out of college over 10 years ago now, uh, developed it as a, an Irish business and was bought out by an American company seven years into our journey and worked with them for a couple of years as well. So this is your second go in the merry round This is my it? second go around. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Have Hopefully you, bringing a lot of experience. I was just going to gonna say, and how much have you learned from your first startup? So I learned a lot. I mean, there's a lot of mistakes you make when you start off. I think I've learned a lot from that. I've also kind of done further study in the field of cosmetics and skincare. Um, I've done um, training in cosmetic chemistry and skin health. So I think I'm kind of bringing a lot of that experience into this brand now as well. Um, so in, in putting this brand together, Mark, like there's a science involved, isn't there? I mean, it's, it's not just kind of slap something into a, into a bottle or a box. You have to think this through. You do. And I think that like um, the industry can be kind of, you know, th there are examples of people who, you know, have like white labeling in, in products and do slap um, products together. And that, that is really telling to the customer. They, they can tell that straight away. Um, but it's not an exact science. It's, you know, it's the intangibles of the, the branding, the the packaging, the, the look and feel, all of those aspects come into it as well, as well as amazing ingredients and actually results because that's at the end of the day what people want. Uh, and where is this going to be made, Tracy? Because that's one of the things, you mentioned the white label product, that yeah. can come from anywhere exactly. in the world and you don't know what's yeah. in it and you're slapping a label on it. You're a little bit more proprietorial over what goes into the bottle. Yeah, absolutely. We develop the products ourselves. So being a cosmetic chemist, we have you know in-house cosmetic chemist, which a lot of brands don't have. Um, and we use a contract manufacturer here in Ireland as well. So the products are all made in Ireland and developed by us. So what exactly is going to be in the box? What, what are you going to shift out? Yeah, so we're launching with uh, a cleansing balm and a vitamin C serum. And what's really important to us is the type of ingredients we use, that they really are effective ingredients. We're really interested in biotech ingredients as well. So these are ingredients that are created in a lab. I think there's a lot of kind of noise out there in the industry about clean and natural. And a lot of these terms don't really mean anything. Well, they look good in a bottle. They look good in a bottle. And, you know, sometimes people think if something is natural, therefore it's good for you or it's better. But if we're thinking about real sustainability, I mean, can the world sustain everybody wanting natural ingredients? You know, plants are grown for food and for fibres. Can they also be grown for cosmetics? Um, the amount of resources that it takes to harvest those ingredients, it's actually more sustainable sometimes for these ingredients to be created in labs, be it by fermentation, you know, using yeasts and bacteria. So it's a really exciting area in cosmetics. So I'm a troglodyte when it comes to cosmetics, Mark. So that, that, I, I'm willing to admit that, but I do know that it's a very crowded marketplace. So how are you going to stand out with so many other competitors probably saying things that they're not doing, but at least penetrating the market? I think that we are really focused on being a, kind of a voice of reason within the industry and having a having transparency. So we we are very fortunate to have a cosmetic chemist as one of the co-founders and putting Tracy front and centre that the customers can almost have like access to a cosmetic chemist that they'd never have before with other brands. Um, I think that's going to be really important to kind of differentiate ourselves in the market. Also, we have beautiful packaging that's compostable and recyclable, but also is branded and something that you still want in your bathroom and then sensorially products that people really want to use. You have been supported by the local enterprise office. As I said, you've done this before, but yeah. like everything else, you know that there's actually support out there. So what have you been 
getting from the local enterprise office? Yeah, there's fantastic supports out there. Um, we've gotten the priming grant so far, which was amazing help for us kind of building the brand. It's really important to us that the brand looks and feels amazing. So we've been able to go and work with a marketing company on getting our branding and our voice and how, how the brand looks to the customer, getting that really right from day one, which was so important to us. Um, so do you want to talk about any other supports we've had? Yeah, well, obviously there is like the, um, the voucher for online trading. There's so many um, supports in your local enterprise office that I, I like for me I haven't been through the process before I'm totally green to it I had no idea um, and I think if I was going to give anybody some advice on it be, it's not Dragon's Den they're there to help and they're very very lovely <laughs> this is more like Dragon's Den yeah. Yeah. this is this way bit. more like Dragon's yeah. Den but they're very friendly and they're, they're, they, all they want to do is help and support businesses and to grow businesses in the area and to get people employed and I think that a lot of people out there might be thinking of starting up businesses and wouldn't have a clue that there's so much supports there. I mean, look, Be A Beauty was an incredible success story. As I said, it was it was bought out and, and this is your second go around. And it wasn't limited to, you know, your friends' neighbours or, yeah. or your local shop. So how far do you want to take Doctrine? So we want to take this international. Um, I think when I started my business first, I was very fresh, I was very green. I don't think I realised the kind of opportunities that were out there. Now that I know what kind of opportunities that are out there, we want to make this an international brand. I mean, we're starting here in Ireland. We would love it to be a brand that people in Ireland love and trust and buy. But we are building this from the beginning to be an international brand. And I think it definitely will hit that international market because it's a great looking product. It's a good, you've created a good looking product, <laughs> which is you. good. And it's out there now. And there's a website as well people can look up, is there? Yeah, DoctrineSkinCare.com. DoctrineSkinCare.com. We look yeah. forward uh, to seeing more products emerging there as time goes on. Marcus Sullivan and Tracy Ryan, thanks so much for taking the thanks time. Thanks a million Thank for having us. Thanks. That is it for this episode of Red Business in Focus. Thank you so much for watching. All thanks to Cork's local enterprises offices. Join us next week where we'll be bringing you all the business news, sharing top tips, showcasing business success stories and hearing about the next big thing. That's next time on Red Business in Focus with thanks to Cork's local enterprise offices. <music>